July 22nd, five week update. Bogan and Big Bone Pups. Both parents on site, saying hello to my boy here, which we owe this video to. I'd all but forgotten about it. Trying to get some work done. And uh, he said, hey, there's no wind. So we're gonna get it done at the last, in the waning light of the day. Yes, they're very social now. Little ankle snugglers. This is Bogan. He's a Midgard Mastiff out of David Easy's program. David was the logical guy for me to work with because he likes a tall, athletic Mastiff like myself. And that's what we got out of Bogan. Tall and athletic. He might have had harder dogs. I didn't ask for his hardest dog. I wanted tall and athletic. So for those of you who follow the program or those of you who don't, these puppies that we're getting out of Bogan are... Um, more liability friendly than some of the dogs we've produced in the past, which are a little harder, a little sharper, a little more aggressive all the way around. The dog aggression is really low in everything out of Bogan, because he's very low in dog aggression. Probably the least dog aggressive dog on my yard, to the truth. He's, he's the softest dog on my yard, if you want to speak, frankly. Hello, 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 hello. These are boys. We have eight boys and three females. I think we have one black female and two red females. The reds are really actually brindles. There's a light, light brindling going on. That's Long Tall Sally. Hello. This is Big Bone. She's one of my dogs out of my program. Going back generations. 62.5% Borbel. 12.5% Dogo Argentino. 12.5% Great Dane. The only Dane I ever found in the world worth using is in there. Uh, Danes are kind of a ruined breed, like most of the mainstream breeds. And oftentimes, soon thereafter, the, um, the rare breeds, as soon as they get cool, as soon as they get hip, it's a short, short road to ruin. Popularity destroys working dogs. Oh, that's good. You got a bunch of them in one spot. Good job. Um, I don't know what anyone can do about that. Except keep finding breeds no one knows about. And using those. I got my eyes on a few now. Um, not, there's never a breed no one knows about, but less well-known breeds. But the Dane, you know, the Dane is good. The Dane brings some, um, it just basically softens them up. Takes the dog aggression down dramatically, and some of these breeds are pretty hard, or pretty pretty hot. Let's say, Dogo's pretty dog aggressive, generally speaking, no matter what anybody tells you. Uh, Borbo's really not. Plenty of those with some dog aggression in there. Congos, yes. Do you hear that sound? Do you like that sound? Do you like my voice or do you like that sound? Yeah, you want to be my keeper, don't you? You want to be my keeper, girl. I like this one, man. Long Tall Sally. Long Tall Sally, he wants to be my girl. He wants to be my girl. Bogan, what do you think? Good natured guy. Very good with the pups. He's had a couple scruffs out here, neither of which he started. But there was no quit in him. Zero quit. And then he didn't really hold a grudge either. A lot of times dogs, if they fight once, that's it. They all try to fight forever at every opportunity. He's not like that. <laughs> well, this beats what we've been doing all day. <laughs> so... If you don't follow the program, these are mostly done for the people that are in on this litter. Although we're still taking deposits for males, offers for females. Um, so, but I can guarantee you a male still. There's that guy. There's always one like, is that? Yeah, that's Thoreau over there. He's in his own world. Okay. He's thinking. For those of you that like to anthropomorphize and you want to project something onto a dog, he's the right dog for you. You can decide that he's thinking wherever the hell you want. <laughs> he's always doing his own thinking. <laughs> Whatever. 
I call those, I had a dog like that before, a pup like that before. He's otherwise normal, but he's often just kind of looking in his own world. Anyway, the percentages on these are complex because Bogan is complex. Bogan has a lot of breeds in him. Mostly Dane and uh, Neapolitan Mastiff. These puppies are primarily Borbal and Dane. Uh, there's about five or six <laughs> out there. <laughs> that's good. That's good stuff, actually. Uh, yeah, puppy heaven. Puppy heaven, hello. Hello, big guy. This is a well-built guy. Well-built guy. Very good natured dog. You could take this dog places. You could... You could travel. These are road dogs. There's a reason we call them that. You want to have a dog you can take out in the world. And just will obey you above everything else. And not real dog <laughs> aggressive. And still be protective. And so forth. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably about 150 pounds now. 30 at the shoulders. Easy. Um, but very athletic. You see the hind quarters on him. A lot of muscle. Yeah, five weeks old. I don't know if I mentioned that. <laughs> These guys are starting to leave on August 17th at nine weeks. So, that's it. That's pretty much all there is to say. If you're not familiar with the program, please visit the website, www.olympicdogs.net. Lots of text there, lots of explanation. Uh, but the short story is I've been all over the world to try to get the best genetics I could find. Whether it be a Borbal in South Africa, a Dogo in Argentina, a Congal in Turkey, I've done that kind of thing. I will do that thing still. I'll go wherever I need to go to get the best genes I can find. My phone is telling me we're running out of juice, so I think we'll call it good. And to all a good night.